the sound or the sound you have as well, it depends in a great measure on the instrument you play. And here we have the latest Simplicio 1929VC, which is a guitar of the Brazilian tulip with the double back and the Manchurian ash neck with double fretboard and zero fret and of course the Whitner pegs which add to the vibration because when you have this instead of the regular machine head which were only best option before this came to the market because those made of wood were not uh, very practical to play but this here is mechanical inside it's so uh, precise durable easy to tune they turn both sides and it's a high precision mechanism inside so and this is directly in contact with the wood so it means that when I play when I play something I feel here the vibration as well so this is not the same because here due to the only reason why uh, the pegs also of the past were a uh, preferred option in, co in collection guitars or you know guitars of last century like Barbero 1945 etc which Paco used in recordings sometimes is that uh, the vibration is direct here but the convenience was that it's not easy, it was not easy to tune they were slippery stuff there around and that was a problem but, but now thanks to Winter Peck this is fixed forever and of course the whole combination of this red cedar top with this incredible sides and the fact that this has not very thick here, but it's a big orma, and therefore the projection is very powerful. You see the, the, the balance of both traps and bass. Easy, easier you can play it. So when you play difficult stuff, also for the left hand, which here is a relief to full tension, the old-fashioned idea, or it's a dogmatic thing, almost a religion that the fretboards have to be incredible in 100 years or 80 years. So nobody tried to do one different uh, exploring or, or experimenting with different raw materials either from the, from the fretboard, which is a key part the Torres idea that the top was the only important thing is the top and the back and side doesn't matter this is just a total fallacy and, but, but it was followed just blindly still, is, I don't know why uh, people don't question this often although some start to do <laughs> and this, therefore well, I have many friends of different, all different views, 
I respect everyone also because if you are, uh, let's say, inclined to a traditional thing, then this guitar is not for you, obviously. But if you want differentiation and powerful sound, this is so much superior than a central sample, totally. No way. And also because this guitar has so many different things, like the zero fret, which offers uh, a very low fast action and a perfect accurate tuning. Without this thing, there is also not even sound to begin with. In a traditional guitar, we have the left hand saddle made of bone, and, and this saddle, which in the 80s is you know, a carbon fiber saddle, the only guitar in the world which has it. But, uh, otherwise, normal guitars have just a bone here and a bone here. That is your sound in open string playing. This is awful. Actually, this is a terrible thing. response to, to what you are playing, you know that you play loud and then it sounds the same, you know, it has no response, typical of the, of the obsolete cypress stuff, etc. But here, for, for instance, you can see just in the weight of this bone, which is what every guitar has, as compared to the, to the carbon fiber material. So uh, this, uh, this is the, the transmit, transmitter of sound. This transmitter of sound means the string is plugged, then the vibration goes to the bridge, which is also uh, a very innovative one, in the case that this one here is, first of all, made of, of Cremona maple. And then it has both wings different as well. If you observe carefully, you will see that this wing and this are different. Right? Like this is shorter, uh, this is shorter and thicker, and this is thinner and larger. So both sides different because we require also different uh, gear for for percussive elements like. So these things were are totally obliterated when you have a, a wrong. Bridge meaning a classical one, rolls with weighty thick there with the two thick wings. This is at least not for me. So the difference in sound, without this is if we just throw this as compared to this, you see that it's crystal. So look again. Let's repeat this experiment. No comparison because when I throw the carbon fiber one, <laughs> it, it is like crystal. 
and this is a dull stuff there, which is what we got used to have and, and take for granted that this is the only way. Well, guess what? This guitar has the carbon fiber and metal on the, on the left hand all over the fretboard because when you play open strings totally even if I play, even if I play without capo, which is just hello, one thing that uh, luthiers should think about these details before, but of course they need the, the guidance of, of, of who plays, and this is the hard dilemma about the, the love-hate we have for each other, right? because we need them to make a guitar and they need us, but the fact is that the luthier has zero authority to, to speak about what playability or sound is, because sound comes only out of playability. How playable is your guitar? How easy you play it? This is how you sound. That's the naked truth. And the luthier does not play well enough to, to tell me that. So, for, for instance, how a luthier will tell me what playability is? If, if he doesn't play like me, how he will know what I need? So it's, it's not possible, right? And luthiers play not beyond kindergarten level. This is a fact. I challenged them many times. Also, you know, encouraged by Paco to do uh, different experiments, the evolution of the guitar so far, the conclusion would be that, that, that we need a different gear than classical guy. So the re this redefinition of the flamenco guitar is important, it matters, and, and this guitar represents that. So it's not just an instrument, but best of the, of the Spanish 1929 simplicity thing, which don't forget, great, the Stradivari of greatest luthier in Spain was Francisco Simplicio. And well, he was from Barcelona, and there there were so many talented people. You can see avant garde guys like anything from Dali, Gaudi, Albenis, Granados, Jovet, Tarrega, all of these guys were from Barcelona, right? And, and this, just because the, the, he, he had the, the courage to challenge the center sample of Madrid School of Guitar Making idea, because here we have a, a sound uh, much more distributed, travels and bass right along the side. And also these two are not the same, as you can see here. This one is smaller than the other, so everything has to be balanced in the jing jang kind of thing, like the balance of, of the elements you have in the guitar.